This bare wood dresser from Ikea is the perfect piece for milk paint. A fun way to dress up your furniture is by adding an ombre finish to it. It packs a punch of color and creativity all in one. And the best part, it's so easy to do with milk paint. For this project, we are blending three colors together. Toasted coconut, millennial pink, and Gotham gray. Let's get started. Let's apply our first coat to the top of the piece. When applying milk paint, it's easiest on a flat, horizontal surface, as the paint can soak in. Sometimes on vertical surfaces, you need to be a little more careful as the paint may run or drip. I like to soak the brush in the milk paint and then wipe off the excess on the rim of the container so that I don't have too many drips or runs. This is especially helpful on a vertical surface. If you happen to get a loose bristle from your brush, simply just remove it and even out the finish again. Remember to apply the paint with long strokes from end to end for a smooth, flawless finish. To paint the front, I flip it on its side as it's easiest to paint when on a horizontal surface with milk paint. First, put a coat on each drawer and let it dry. We will do the blending with our second coat. We are focusing on getting the wood fully covered before blending. Have fun with your paint. Be liberal with it. If you put too much on, don't worry, just remove the excess. I will often pour my paint onto a bare wood surface, then work it around and remove the excess. The paint has had a chance to dry for 20 to 30 minutes. Now I'm ready for my second coat. This is where we start to blend the colors together. Be sure to use clean brushes for each color blend. A great tip for blending is you'll want to keep the brush flat and in the same direction without flipping it back and forth. You want to keep one side of the brush with lighter color and the other side with a darker color. Take a mister to keep the paint activated and start brushing over the two colors to blend them. Milk paint dries quickly. In about 20 to 30 minutes, it's fully cured, so the mister helps. Moving to our millennial pink and Gotham gray, you can really see the blending into a gorgeous soft lavender color. The change is subtle, but impactful once complete. Only a couple passes of the light grit sandpaper is needed to make the surface smooth to the touch. Now onto our final step, finish it. Our luscious furniture waxes are a dream to work with. They go on like butter and smooth out beautifully, leaving a soft satin sheen. Perfect over this milk paint project as it won't be coming into water contact often. Using our natural bristle wax brush, apply in circular motions, then remove the excess with a lint-free cloth. Applying the wax brings the color to life. Now for our finishing touches. Some modern gold hardware and clean lines really brings together the look for this piece. The ombre finish is soft and subtle, perfect for a whimsical bedroom. This technique can be applied on walls, canvases, or other furniture pieces. What will you paint an ombre?